brought you earlier this week. A Hazelwood teen's selfless act to raise money to pay off student lunch debts has taken the internet by storm. Thanks to viewers just like you, his, his story has gone viral and has inspired people all around the country to pitch in. Our Melanie Johnson has more on the unexpected surprise for paying it forward. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying not to cry. 14 year old Dewan Strickland overwhelmed by gratefulness of each dollar donated to help kids like him have a meal at the lunch table. I know all those kids are going to be really happy because of this. Hazelwood resident Yolanda Duncan saw the story on News 4. He felt the pain when he was in the fourth grade that he couldn't eat and to watch somebody else to eat. And on Thursday, wanted to thank the teen in her own way. I have this package that you paid off the student's lunch debt. I wanted to give it back to you. Giving him a personal check to match the donation Dewan gave McCurdy Elementary School to pay off every student's negative lunch balance. Well, I'm in shock. <laughs> thank you so much. <laughs> You're welcome. I am mindful on that. Yeah, this was just originally just an idea because I wanted to help kids out who couldn't pay for school lunches and seeing this now, I really want to thank you and thank everyone who's helped to, to contribute. I've never had that um, challenge in my life. If I didn't eat, it's because I didn't want to eat. So I said, this is a positive black boy doing something in the community. After hearing Dewan's story, News 4 decided to dig deeper into this problem and find out how much money students owe in other districts. In Parkway schools, students owe a combined $54,000 in unpaid meals. In Rockwood, student meal debt is over $18,000. In the Clayton School District, that negative balance is just over $4,000. Dewan is going to be successful because he's going to inspire other kids when they see him on TV and say, well, I could do that. It really will help to make change at, at Hazelwood School District and when we continue this more at all schools. A teenager with a big heart to save one child. The feeling of hunger he has experienced has grown into an act of kindness that has rubbed off on others. I am only one person, but when everyone starts coming together to start doing this too, it will spark some change. A mission for change he plans to donate to every year to fight against food insecurity in schools near and far. Melanie Johnson, News 4. Doing good can be contagious, no doubt. And if you would like to donate to DeWine's GoFundMe to pay off negative meal balances for students, visit this story in the KMOV News app.